Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a program I coded last weekend. Now, before I tell you what the program is, I thought I would do a bit of a backstory. Now, if you don't know, in my furniture mod, I am currently overhauling the channels for the TV, and I thought that the easiest way to create new channels is to use GIF images and convert them to Minecraft animated textures. Now unfortunately, I did not find any tools on the internet that would convert GIF images to Minecraft animated textures, and being a programmer, I wrote my own. Now this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial because this program is very simple and it should be easy to understand just by looking at it, so let's go ahead and let's actually open up right now. So this is Animation Creator, and it has a very simple UI, we can load images, export, change the speed, change the resolution. We've got a little preview thing down here, and we can also reorder or delete frames. So let's go ahead and we're going to load up the Nyan Cat GIF that I've got there that you may have seen. So we're going to load up Nyan Cat here. And as you can see, it's split up the GIF into separate frames, and if we want, we can reorder them. So if we just select that one there, we can shift it down one, or we can shift it up. I'm going to keep it in the same order so it's it looks proper, but maybe if you're importing separate images or something like that, you want to rearrange them, make the animation look better, you can do that. Um, you can also delete if you want to. Now you can see over here in the preview that the Nyan Cat looks really pixelated and this is because we're at 16 by 16 resolution. Now this is depending on what you want. Um, for this image, this is obviously a not a 16 by 16, it's probably like, um, I don't know what it would be, maybe 256 by 256. Um, but we're going to do 128 here, and as you can see, the resolution is a lot better now. Um, 64 is not that good, 32 is not that good. 128 is probably the best for this, but it does mean it's going to cost more um, space to store this image. If we go ahead and just press play here, you see that he's playing now. We're simply just going to click export here. We're going to go and save this on our desktop, and we're simply going to be overriding the stone texture so I'm going to save the file as stone. What this is going to do is it's going to generate an image strip here. So this is a vertical image strip and this is how Minecraft animated textures work. And we've also got the MC meta which just tells information about the animation as well. We're also going to convert these two images to an animation as well. So this is just two claw images. You'll see in a second what it looks like. So let's load those two images up. Now there's multi-select enable when you are loading up the images as well, so you don't have to click each one individually. We might set the frame or the property speed up to 5. And we're going to keep the resolution the same because I know this is a 16 by 16. If we just preview this real quickly, we've got a little claw animation there, so that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and export this on our web, on our desktop, and we'll just override planks oak save and there we go we're going to load these into a texture pack now so I've got a folder open rule right here and what we're going to do is drag all of them into there and they should be in my texture pack now so let's go ahead and load up Minecraft so we're in game now and as you can see it is overridden the textures so we've got the nine cat on the stone and we've got the claw on the oak planks and it is that simple creating animated textures from gifs or multiple images now this is going to be a big help when actually creating my TV channels now because um, what I'm doing is I'm actually editing video and then I'm exporting it to separate images. So I'm going to be importing a ton of images in then converting them to um, this animated texture using my program and that means that the mod is going to be out quicker. Now just a quick fun thing before I end off this video, these animated textures have overrun my experiment world. <laughs> So that's going to end off this video today, hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to download this program, you can go ahead and download it from my website, link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this preview video, make sure you just give it a little thumbs up, show your support, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!